people know I love crappy movies. I love them so much. So one of my friends invited me over to go watch the 1994 release of Tammy and the T-Rex. It just so happens that the day this happened, or the day after this happened, my good friends over at Drive-By Movies also reviewed Tammy and the T-Rex and confirmed all of my suspicions about this film. So, if you want to see it, it is available on Shudder. Please use their link. I will put a link to their review in the description. You can go over there and see what they think of it. But, Tammy and the T-Rex is not a Saturday morning cartoon. It is a story of Tammy, played by Denise Richards, who is looking fabulous in every scene, but frustratingly clothed. I mean, you know, you just... The original cut was was PG-13, but the Shudder version is an R. And you're saying, why is she so clothed? This is frustrating. And the answer is, it's the 90s, and we suddenly became afraid of boobies. So we forgive this movie. But what happens in this movie is that Denise Richards' character, Tammy, has a psychotic boyfriend who won't let her bang the captain of the football team. I don't understand this part either. But then the boyfriend finds the captain of the football team at her house, beats the heck out of him, leaves him in a wild animal park somewhere in suburban America. He is then thrashed and put into the body of a T-Rex uh, to cause humans to be immortal. What happened with this movie is they said, hey, we got a T-Rex, what can we do with it? Well, I got this movie uh, over here. It was probably, you know, a much harder, uh, harder R film. We'll just take out the killer robot and put it in a T-Rex. And then, you know, that's what we'll do. We'll have, we'll have uh, Tammy and the T-Rex. Ah, that's a great title. Because this is a splatter gore film that only the 90s could deliver if you see the R-rated cut on Shudder. If you see the PG-13 cut originally given to American audiences, you're like, mm, no, it would pretty much be the same film, only if you're not a fan of gore, you'd probably enjoy it. But there was a lot of gore in this film. There was a point where, like, the police officers are poking this dude's crushed head, going, I think that's his nose. And, of course, they're way over-the-top redneck police officers with a black captain, and they're making fun of him for being squeamish. And this movie is just all over the place, batshit crazy. The kind of thing you'd expect them to make in a short time when they happen to have a T-Rex. Now, some of the green screen work, when they actually make the T-Rex move, is terrible. When they have it roaring or standing or slashing people up, it's pretty good stuff. When they have it uh, manipulating things, they actually have people wearing fake T-Rex hands out of camera. And it's kind of, kind of reminiscent of Little Shop of Horrors, the musical, which is a movie I loved. But any time the T-Rex has got to actually walk full body shots on screen, it is just terrible. Now look, this film, you can't say this is a good movie. You just can't. If you're satisfied by Denise Richards being hot, but showing you no boob, yeah, okay, it'll satisfy that spot for you. If you want to see some gore or some T-Rex roar in action, yeah, okay. Otherwise, look, unless you love B-movies as much as I do, this movie is a pass. It is a watch only if you're a fan of the genre. I am a fan of the genre, so I'm probably going to watch this movie again. But, you know, let's face it. It's so, so bad. Greetings, humanity. I'm Fred the Facehugger here, and I'm here to remind you that Richard, the owner of this YouTube channel, wants to help the world. That's your world, not my world. He's trying to get trash out of the ocean. And he can pay for that only if he gets monetized. So do yourself a favor. 
like, and comment on this video, and get your friends to subscribe, or else terrible things will happen that I will not have any control over, but then my species will take over the Earth. So, yeah. Up to you, worthless, apathetic, but, you know, easily face-hugged human. Fred out.